They're back. The convention center packed this weekend for one of the largest conferences that we host as a city all year long. Yeah, we love it when Gen Con's in town. Game players and costume characters descending on our city. Look at this guy. They're all in for this huge convention. That's right. Rich and I got the first-hand look at the longest and largest running annual event that's devoted to tabletop gaming that occurs in North America. More than 60,000 visitors will stroll through the Indiana Convention Center this weekend during Gen Con. Gaming. Yeah, it is it's gaming. Um, have fun. Best really. four days of gaming. So it's just, we like to demo the games. The camaraderie here is amazing. And buy a lot of dice. $70 million worth of annual economic impact in Indianapolis from people playing tabletop games. This is how we usually get introduced to new games. Uh, we don't like to really do the tournaments because they take up your whole day. <laughs> Jovial, friendly, uh, a bit crowded at times, but uh, I think everyone's kind of used to that. How big is Gen Con? Well, four day passes sold out, and these people have already bought their passes. They're just waiting to pick them up. But the line stretches from here, hundreds of yards back, all the way out the convention center. I saw that line for will call is really long. It goes to like another state, like I think Ohio or something. They come from every state, more than 50 countries and elsewhere. My character is Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time. I'm a Katachan jungle fighter from the Death World. I'm Enterprise from Azera Lane. For many, cosplay, dressing up is half the fun. At most conventions where we, when we bring these costumes, it's more of, who are you? you? It looks cool, but who are you? But here, a lot of people recognize us. So it's kind of a fun hype to the Gen Con, actually. And that's probably the most fun. We demo some games, but we spend a lot of time just walking around. Gen Con is under contract to keep playing in Indy through 2023. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.